Oi, welcome back. Today we are going to be learning about the V-Ray material shader. If you want to learn how to create photorealistic renders in Maya, it is very important that you learn how to create photorealistic materials first. Let's clean up our UI a bit before we get started. We are going to get rid of the time slider and the range slider because we won't be using them. We aren't really animating anything and it just takes up screen space. Go to Windows and look for UI elements. Click on the plenty dots above the status line option. This detaches the pop-up so we can select or unselect multiple elements at once. Disable the range and time sliders to take them off the screen. You can disable any of the others provided you are not using them. But I am going to be using all of the others, so I'll leave them on. Before we get started on materials, let me introduce you to the hypersheet. This button here, when clicked, opens up a new window called the Hypersheet. So immediately we see a new set of windows that perform whole new functions. But don't be overwhelmed, we'll tackle them individually. In the browser window, you can navigate through rendering assets like your materials, textures, lights, cameras and many more. The Create window allows you to create different material types and rendering assets. You'll find the various V-Ray material types in this tab if you have already loaded V-Ray into the scene. See this video if you haven't already done that. This is a graph editor, which shows the graph networks of the selected object or material. Right click and hold on number 1. Drag the cursor to graph network and release it. We see that number 1 graph network pops up on the graph editor, and we can see all the different assets that are connected to number 1. Click this icon to clear the graph editor. On the top right corner, we have a material viewer. Here we have a preview of any material we create. Right now, Lambert 1 is selected, so this is a preview of Lambert 1 on Maya hardware. Let's change it to V-Ray, and now this is how Lambert 1 would look like if we rendered it in V-Ray. You can change the preview object into anything you want. A sphere, a piece of cloth, and ooh, oh, that's, that's pretty. Anyway, I like to keep my at shader ball. You can also change the background to any one of the presets to get a better feel of how your material will look like in different environments. Mess around with this, it's up to you. The property editor is like an attribute editor for the hypersheet. In fact, the first icon allows you to adopt the format of the attribute editor in here which I recommend turning on. The second icon allows you to tear off the panel and move it around whenever needed. 